Today we are going to explore something really new and something really interesting that is Google Agent Space. And let's understand what is Agent Space. If I type in Google Agent Space in Google search and let's go inside with the first search result and once you go inside, we'll see some introduction videos, some documentation part and other things. And most interestingly, it provides a really cool new feature it can integrate with your private data. And if I talk about private data, the sources can be many things. The Google Drive, Gmail, the Microsoft Ecospace, like Outlook, Teams, even Salesforce, Slack, Jira, Confluence, and many other connectors are there. And Google is actively developing many new connectors which might be released in recent days. On top of those data, Google Agent Space can provide you really good summarization and AI search results. We will be getting the enterprise search capability on your private data. By the way, this feature is not publicly available yet, but you can really sign up for the early access. Once you scroll up, you'll see sign up for early access. Click on that. You need to fill in the form with your proper details. And after that, just click on submit button and you will possibly receive an email something like this. It will say you are on the list. And once your request is approved, you can basically explore this feature. Let's do something around this. Once the agent space feature is enabled for your particular account or project, you can open up your Google Cloud Console. Then let's search for Agent Builder. Once you get the Agent Builder option, just click on that. For the first time, we need to enable the API and optionally you can click on that checkbox button, which can basically send out some diagnostic data. Let's click on Continue and activate the API. It will take a while once you click on that. Once the relevant APIs are activated and if you go to Agent Builder, we'll see this screen which will be basically blank for the first time. Like create an app and left side we'll have some options like data stores, monitoring and settings. But before that, let's prepare our data. And what I'll do, I have created basically one folder called Laptop Specs and Guides. And I have some data around some laptops and some specifications for those laptops. As you see, we have some PDFs over here. And now what I'll do, I'll create two new folders, separate that for HP laptop and Dell laptops, but it is not required, but I just wanted to separate it out. And once the folders are created, I'll upload those data. Now our data is ready, our API is ready, and let's begin to explore this, how we can connect our private data to Google AI agent space. For that, what I'll do from the agent builder window, I'll click on data sources from the left panel. Let's click on create data store and we'll get plenty of options including some Google Cloud own offerings like Cloud Storage Spanner or anything like that. Some third party are there like Jira Cloud, Salesforce, OneDrive, SharePoint, Teams and many other things as we see and many more will be coming in the near future. But in our case, we will be using Google Drive. Let's select that. Once you select that, we have three options. We can go with access to all the drives. For example, you might have access to more than one Google Drive with that particular Google account or you may provide access to a specific shared folder or shared drive. You can do that. But for our example, I'll be going with all. Then let's click on continue. Once you do that, you will get two options in the next window. First one is you need to select a multi-region where you want to store your configuration in. You can go with the global which is basically recommended and you need to give a name to your data store or this connection basically to your data. Let's give it a name. Then after that, there is one option called Gen AI options. Let's not bother about that now. Let's click on create. Once it is created, you'll see that in the data stores. And now the next part begins. Let's click on apps from the left side panel. Then let's click on create a new app. Once you do that, you'll see some options are there. But in our case, we will be taking enterprise search and assistant, which is in preview mode and it is not available for all the accounts. Let's click on create button. Once you click on that, we need to provide few details like the app name, any name which you want, then your company name, you can provide anything. And then where you want to deploy your app, whether it is global or multi-region, then in the select tier, we have two options like search only the search capability and then search plus assistant assistant will basically summarize your search results if you have recently used the google search console 
you'll see if you search for anything it gives a summary at the top and it says it is ai generated and it will be something like this let's go with the second option which is search plus assistant then let's click on continue once you click on continue it will basically show you the data sources we have created only one data source from our google drive but you can create more from this window as well and you can select more than one data sources maybe a connection to the confluence salesforce or anything like that but for us we have only one data source which is google drive let's select that and let's click on create button at the bottom and that is basically it it's really simple it will be taking little bit of time depending on your data size we have really small data it will not take much time and our app is ready we have some options at the left panel like action preview configuration integration analytics and action window basically can do something on behalf of you which we will explore little bit later in other episodes and this is your preview window the search console we can basically search for anything we can go to configurations we can change some configurations if you want some autocomplete suggestions we can enable that as well then if we go to integrations from the left side panel we can select our language it offers many languages and this is the link or web app link which we can directly use from browser and we can interact with google ai agent space but for some reason it is not working with my account but we can definitely interact with the agent space from our preview window let's do that and maybe let me search something i want to search which are the laptops will be having dedicated gpu and let's see whether it can find the details from our private data yes indeed it has shown all the options which are there in our private data but sometimes this search or summarization may be not accurate as this is in preview mode and as time goes on it will improve much more which i believe and let's search something more and obviously on the search result we'll have citations also from which documents it got those details now let's search with some specific questions like what is the gpu on our dell precision 5530 model and it is saying it provides basically four configurations like nvidia quadro p1000 and other three options and we can search anything on our private data like if you have access to jira from agent space you may ask what are the open tickets any other questions around those data and the same thing can be done from the preview window as well we can do some more search like that same thing and some specific questions might not give you exact result which you might be expecting you can always give feedback as this is in preview and that is it for this episode let's explore many more things in upcoming episodes thanks for watching